Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. So we got the potter's wheel, we've got the graph right here, and we're trying to find the angular displacement of the wheel between T4 and T15. All right, I think it was 5 and 15, actually. That's a typo. Uh, so between 5, so if we're right here at 5 seconds, and you're going to 15 seconds, the change is going to be from this point right here to this point right here. Kind of hard to see. And uh, so it's just displacement. Remember, displacement is not distance. So it starts at 50, and it goes to halfway between 50 and 75. So I would call that... 12.5 would be 62.5, and it's starting at 50. So the gap is, so the answer to, if you will, A is 12.5 uh, meters. No, oh, this would be radians, 12.5 radians or rads. Okay, that's the answer to A. So question B was, what is the angular velocity of the wheel at 15 seconds? I wish this graph wasn't so faded out. So at 15 seconds, you're at this point. But the angular speed is going to be the slope of this line, slope of this, which will be a negative slope. And so if you look at it, you're going to go from, it's rise over run. So he's going from, it'd be 50 minus 75 divided by, is it 10 seconds? 20 minus 10, 10 seconds. So 50 minus 25 is negative 25 over 10, so it's negative 2.5, and that'll be rads per second, right? So this is the answer to B. And then question C says, what is the maximum speed at a point on the outside of the wheel? Now, speed is like meters per second, and so the, the maximum speed, if you think about it, if you look at the graph, is actually where the line is steepest. And the line is steepest in that first segment from 25 um, rads to 75 rads. So I'm going to find that slope, right, um, and get it in rads per second and then convert it. So it's going to go from 75, it's you know, rise over the run, so 75 to 25, that's of course 50 over, and that's 10 seconds, so that's going to be 50 over 10, which is 5 rads per second. And I've got to convert rads per second into meters per second. And so I said, um, uh, what did I say? I said, I said there's two pi rads in one revolution. So my rads cancel. And I can say there's, in a uh, circumference, how far have they traveled in a circle? The uh, circumference of C is two pi r. So there's 2 pi r um, distance in one revolution. I don't know if you realize this, but the 2 pi's cancel. And this is the radius. And they gave us the radius. What was the radius? If it was 15 centimeters, so this would be 0 0.015, right? 0 0.0. No. Yeah. The outside was at 50.015. And then you just take 5 times 0 0.15, 015, and these two, scan, two pi cancels, and you get the answer of 7, is it 75? Yeah, 75. Check that, it's 0.75 meters per second.